If I were to use one word to describe Nintendo's attitude to third-party developers during the NES era, it would probably be anal. Obtaining the rights to officially make games for the system was notoriously difficult, as Nintendo wanted to be the sole manufacturer of all cartridges and needed the company to sign a contract to Nintendo. The official reason was to protect the public from poor quality games, and thank goodness too, because it's thanks to these strict measures we got such great NES games like Barbie, Where's Wally, and Dragonlance, Heroes of the Lance. God knows what utter crap could have been released onto the system if it wasn't for these strict third-party restrictions. Anyway, as you can imagine with such strict measures against third-party developers, many people tried to work their way around this, and as a result the NES had a large library of bootleg games released onto it. This meant that companies like Tengen and Color Dreams released games without the permission of Nintendo so they could give us such amazing games like Bible Adventures which was nice of them. And of course, with this flood of bootleg games which could be illegally made on the system, why not make it even more illegal by completely ripping off games that already exist? Basically, where I'm going with this is that some companies, and by companies I probably mean about four Chinese people in a basement somewhere, got together and released unlicensed and really weird ports of existing games onto the system. Aha, yes, I knew I was going somewhere with this stupidly long intro. Welcome to Port Patrol, a show where I look at weird, interesting, or knockoff ports of video games, and today we are looking at World Heroes 2. Now you may think it's weird that I'm looking at a port of a game I've never played in a series of where I look at how the port compares to the original game, but trust me, it really doesn't matter and you will soon see why. If screen is error, select Sonic Head Mode A. Oh, of course. Thanks, Kony. After that confusing screen, you're then taken to the title screen which shows off the roster of characters you'll be playing as. So you've got Hagar from Final Fight, Chun-Li from Street Fighter, uh, Bowser, Sonic, and Mario? Even Goku is in this game, you know, the most well-known World Heroes 2 fighter. And frickin' Donatello? What? No joke, the first time I loaded up this game I had to take a couple of minutes to calm down from laughing so hard, I just wasn't expecting it. At what point do you decide to make a port of an arcade fighting game and then have fucking Ninja Turtles and Sonic in the roster? I mean... <laughs> Oh my god, I can't. <laughs> Wanna have a guess at how many characters in this game are actually from World Heroes? That's right, none. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ, this game, it literally doesn't stop giving. It's playing the Ninja Turtles theme now. <laughs> I think I found it, people. <coughs> this game has literally broken me. I'm not even past the title screen. <coughs> Oh, for God's sake. I decided to go with Mario for this playthrough because his sprite is hilarious to me. Whoa, 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 Mario, you might want to, you know, watch your weight a little there. It's, you're looking like a sphere. And my first opponent is Ryu from Street Fighter. And then he started beating me like a A. Obligatory Chris Brown and Rihanna joke. B. A teenager's penis after first discovering masturbation. C. None of these are funny. Seriously, throughout this constant assault, I am mashing on the controller like a deranged idiot and it still did nothing. Needless to say, when the same thing happened in the second round, oh wait, excuse me, uh, the third round, this game can't count very well, I decided that Mario was a crap character and decided to try my luck with Sonic. Here I learned that you perform special moves in this game by holding down A and B and then pressing a the direction on the D-pad. Armed with this knowledge, I pummeled my opponent with a secret technique which I like to call breaking the game. See, they didn't think to fix the fact that when you spin dash a Sonic in midair, you just sort of float. Aha! Can't do anything to me down there, you foul! Sonic's second special move is electricity. Because yeah, who could forget that Sonic game where he could channel electricity through his body? I think it was called Sonic Chew or something? You're unlucky to have to fight me! Yeah, that face just strikes fear into a man's heart. Actually, it kinda looks like Sonic's getting ready to dry hump something with that shit-eating grin and his body positioned like that. Huh. Well, I guess if you aren't into blue hedgehogs then it would be unlucky. The next fight was Bowser and I decided to mix things up by playing as Mai Mai this time, because she looked cool. It was here I learned the key to success in this game. Never stop spamming special attacks. Normal attacks are basically useless in this game, it's like slapping someone with a wet flannel. So just holding down A and B and twiddling with the D-pad a lot seems to be the best strategy. Oh, right! you again? I'm ready to face you once more, I have learned your ways. It was after getting absolutely wrecked by Ryu that I determined that Ryu is a cheater. Not even Mai Mai's two giant Mai Mai's could cushion her from Ryu's attacks. Hmm, Kony, eh? 
I guess this game brings a whole new meaning to the term invisible children. Am I right? Get it? Because of the sprite flicker? Man, if one of the people on screen didn't have the build of an apartment block, that joke might have worked. Fraggy review show top tip! As much as my Mai's 8-bit boobs might tempt you, just play as Ryu. He will absolutely wreck anything that comes his way. Oh god. Oh god, what is that man doing to that poor defenseless chicken? For my Port Patrol videos, I have a scoring system in place unlike my normal reviews to rate how well the port stacks up compared to the original game. I rate them on a scale of 1 to 15, 1 being a terrible port, 10 being on par, and 15 being better. Despite the fact I've never played the original World Heroes, I can definitely say that no matter what the original was like, this is a million times better just for being literally the funniest NES game ever to exist. I give it 100 out of 15, but gameplay wise it is absolute ass. Thank you all for watching, it's a bit of a short video but I'll explain why in the end card bit which is coming up in about, I don't know, 5 seconds? I'll see you all next time. Hey guys, Fracky Review Show here, and thank you for watching another one of my videos, I really appreciate it. Uh, this end card isn't scripted, uh, so it's gonna be terrible, I'm gonna trip over a lot of my words, uh, but I'm basically here just to explain why this video is so short compared to my other stuff. Uh, basically, uh, this video was originally gonna be about three games instead of just one, uh, but the game I wanted to talk about first, I ended up moving to last because it was the worst part, but it was still written like it was the first part of the video, so it didn't really make sense, and quite frankly, the jokes I made in it weren't really worth saving, so I decided to cut that, but then I thought just concentrate on two video games and one video might seem a bit weird, so instead I've decided to split that video into two, uh, the first part is what you just watched. The next part is pretty much done, to be honest. It might be up by next week. I'm aiming to have it up by next week. And then I'm also planning on perhaps having one more video by the end of December, so it's like the three days of Fracky. It's not, it's not, not, not quite 12 days of Christmas, but if you're expecting 12 videos from me, you can fuck off. Uh, that's a bit rude, I'm sorry. On the screen are links to some other videos. Uh, my friend Ducky Gamer Deluxe is here. He made a really good top 10 list about 10 games he finds the most boring. It's definitely worth a check if you have 20 minutes. He has a godlike accent and he's really funny. Also, it has me in it, but I don't think anyone really cares about that. There's also a link to Pixel Invaders. It's the first video we've done where it's all three of us in it at once, so if you like crispy memes and watching some free people on the internet suck at worms, you can watch that. And there's a link to one of my other videos on screen as well, but let's face it, no one really cares about that. Thank you for watching, stay tuned next week, and there might actually be a video on here. You never know.